All right, we're trying to figure out if the x-intercept is positive. So the x-intercept would be positive it's, if it's to the right of the origin. It's negative if it's to the left. This is my x-intercept. So the first clue is the slope of line k is negative 5. So that's not going to help us, but maybe I can show you through this graph why. The slope's like I have anything to do with, with your uh, where it crosses the x-axis. So slope is rise over run. So that would be negative 5 over 1. And the problem tells me that it passes to the point negative 5 r. Now I don't know whether r is positive or negative, but I know that here is negative 5. That's where x is negative 5. So it's going to have to point, it's going to pass through someplace on that line there, okay, where x is negative 5. So let's say it starts, let's say it passes through negative 5 comma 35. Well, rise over run, I've made my y-axis 5 and I've made my x-axis 1. If you do rise over run, rise negative 5, that means go down negative 5 and run 1. So that puts me there. Go down negative 5 and run 1. That puts me there. Go down negative 5 and run 1. Puts me there. Go down negative 5 and run 1. Puts me there. Go down negative 5 and run 1. So you can see... And here the x is intercept it's going to be positive. But if I started, let's say, here at uh, that point, negative 5, 5, and if I go down negative 5 and run 1, I've got a negative x-intercept. So clue 1 doesn't work. Clue 2 says r is greater than 0. Well, we've already answered that. My r was positive in both cases, and I still found one case where the x-intercept was positive and one where it was negative. So that doesn't work either. So your answer will be E, nothing works.